What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to copy a 3D design view and modify it to create a 3D plumbing isometric riser for domestic water. All right, so let's do this. So I'm gonna open up the 3D view here. So let's click default 3D view. Okay, and then the, uh, let's look on the project browser. There's my 3D, so let's rename this one oh if, instead of renaming so let's just duplicate this so let's right click and then i select here duplicate view and then i select here duplicate let's click that one and then let's rename here the copy so right click the copy and then just select rename and then you can type uh plumbing isometric oops uh, isometric domestic domestic water enter okay and then after that we're going to turn off the crop region here so I don't need that one so I'll just select this and also I'm going to select the link model here okay or instead of doing that so let us just lock the view here Okay, so let us lock the view by selecting this icon here and then select Save Orientation and Lock View. Okay, so it's now locked so that we don't inadvertently orbit the model. So as you can see, if I hold the shift and then hold the middle button of my mouse to orbit it, as you can see, you can't orbit because the view is now locked. Okay, next. Um, we're going to apply view template here. So let's go to properties and then let's let's look for a view template. So let's select here none to apply a template. So we will be selecting plumbing isometric and then let's just move the slider down just to investigate. Okay, so further down it says here the discipline is mechanical, the sub-discipline is plumbing, the view classification is documentation. Okay. So I'm going to apply this one and then after that I select here OK and then you will notice it will now only show us our uh, plumbing discipline plumbing discipline or uh, plumbing uh, sub-discipline and then the discipline is mechanical and then the view classification is uh, documentation. So now the next thing is we are going to hide all the elements that we don't need in this view. Okay, so to do that, I'll just select all of this manually like this. Hold control, I'll just hide it manually. Just like that. Maybe I'll just include this one as well. Just hold control. And then after that, just right click and then let me just hide that elements. There you go. Okay, so we, I, I just want to concentrate on this view here. Okay, so now um, I'm going to highlight all the pipe connections here. So to do that, I'm going to hover my pointer to highlight one of the pipe. And then I'm going to press tab. Press tab once. One, two, three. Okay, so if you press tab, uh, if you press your tab three times, it will highlight the connections. Okay, and then you can click that one. All right, if you want to highlight all the connections of the pipe. Now, uh, instead of doing that, I'll just hover again my pointer to one of the pipe and then tab again, uh, one tab, and then press second tab. Okay, and then I'll just click that one. And then you will see that it allows me to select the domestic cold water system here. So if we're going to press tab three, three times over the pipe like this, let's tab three times. So one, two, three. And then click. So what happens is it will also allow you to select all the system. Okay. But instead of doing that, I'll just tab twice because I only want to highlight the cold water system. Okay. So let's hover up, press tab once, and then tab again second time and then once it highlights you click and there you go so I just selected the domestic cold water 
So I'm going to edit this one. So I'm going to right click and then I select here override graphics view. So I select here by element and then I'll change the projection lines. So let's expand that one. For the pattern, I'll just select here dash. Let's look for dash. And then for the color, okay, I'll just select about blue for water. And then for the line weight, I'll select here three, like that. And then I select here okay. And there you go. And then just click outside to see now how it looks like. Okay. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is how about the pipes that connects here on my water heater. Okay, so if I click that pipe, so that is my domestic hot water. So instead of clicking one by one, so I'll just use again the tab uh, feature. So I'm going to hover my pointer to one of that pipe and then I'm going to uh, press tab and then tab again. Tab again until it highlights all the connections. So in this instance, I press the tab three times. Okay, just for me to be able to select completely the hot water connection. So I'm going to hover my pointer again, press tab one, two, three. Okay, so once it highlights the pipes, I'm just going to click that one. And then as you can see, the system here is domestic hot water. So I'm just going to right click again on the blank space, override graphics, this uh, graphics in view by element, and then projection lines the pattern here so this time i'm gonna use 316 the color for hot so maybe i'll use red here and then for the line weight i'll use four and then i select apply and then okay there you go now if you want to see the thickness the line weight that we have applied here so you can just turn off the thin lines here so you can click thin lines to turn it off and then you see it will show you the line weight that we have applied to our model okay now i do not want to show here my sanitary piping i only want to show my uh water okay so that's why i'm just going to hide all of these pipes here Okay, I'm going to select now my sanitary piping. So I'm going to hover my pointer and then press tab one, two. So it highlights now the system and then click. All right, and then after that, I'm going to hide now the elements. So let's right click, hide elements. There you go. So now it only shows us the piping for our uh, water system okay so that's our plumbing isometric uh, domestic water now if you want to put up some annotation for your pipe here you can add an annotation to your pipe and then you can also add some uh, text so you just need to go to your uh, annotate and then let's say, uh, for example, you want to add more uh, details to it like text. So I'm going to select here text. So let's click that one. <clears throat> and then we can add uh, text here. So from the properties, so the text here is 3 over 32. Let's try that one out. So I'm going to add a text here. So here. So say I'm going to call this uh, WC-1. Well, it should be dash 1. And then so I'll just put here. And then I'll just copy that. So copy. Just put there. And then maybe I'll call this... Uh, urinal or u-1 okay and say for this three here for the sinks i'll just copy this 
So I'll just put one here. So you can use the arrow on your keyboard to move your text manually. So I'll just select that, copy, multiple. So maybe I'll click this point here, click that point there, that one. And then yeah, I'll just call this S. Okay. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do after I put up some uh, annotation to my model. So I'm going to duplicate this one. So, so right now it's plumbing isometric domestic water. So let's say I want to create a plumbing isometric for sanitary waste. So I'm just going to right click this. I'll select here duplicate. All right, so that's the duplicate. So let's rename this one. So rename and then let's call this uh, plumbing isometric uh -huh. sanitary oh. sanitary waste enter all right and then after that we are going to unhide the sanitary waste that we have hidden a while ago so to do that just look on this icon here reveal hidden elements so you can click that one there you go and then i'm going to hover up my pointer to my sanitary and just like what we did a while ago i'm going to press the tab so one two three so i need to press my tab three times to highlight the sanitary so once it highlights you click to select it and then unhide element there you go and then close that tool so now uh, it's now showing so it's the turn now is we're going to hide our cold water and then hot water so let's hover up our pointer to one of the pipe there cold water and then press tab one two then click to select right click hide element Okay, so same with our cold water. So hover our pointer to the pipe and then press tab. One, two, three. So once it highlights all the hot water pipe, you click and then right click, hide elements. There you go. Okay, so now that we have hidden our cold water and hot water, so we can now, let's say, hide the other elements here that we don't need. So let's uh, select all of this. I don't need this. Okay. I don't want that. So right click, hide elements. There you go. Oh. Okay, so what are these elements here? So we need to clean up this. So I'm going to hover my pointer. It looks like a reference lines or planes. So let's go to our properties go to our plumbing isometric view template and let's go to the uh, bg overrides model so let's select edit and then let's look for lines i'm gonna hide the lines there and then i select here okay okay there you go so it's now hidden so here's now our model here Okay, there you go. Again, if you want to put some annotation, so you can put some annotation on your model. So hopefully you learned something from this video on creating our plumbing isometric uh, view. So we have our uh, water and then we have the sanitary 3D view. Okay, so if you, if you have any questions, you can put it on the comment section below. And thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.